Okay, so hopefully you read that uh, short article about um, about Islam. Um, I want to talk to you about some mosque vocabulary before we go any further. Um, uh, when we talk, uh, and so the mosque is the sacred space uh, where w worship takes place in Islam. This um, We talk about a courtyard, which can be referred to as just a courtyard, and that would be fine if you want to know the the proper name, it's it's a san, and most traditional mosques have a quite a large courtyard um, incorporating that outdoor space. Um, so uh, usually the courtyard is uh, surrounded on all sides by an arcade, right? You know what an arcade is? It's a row of columns that hold up arches. Okay. Um, so here's an example of the courtyard from the Great Mosque of Cordoba, which we'll go over in just a moment, but you can see large outdoor space and the arcade right there. Um, this is a different kind of courtyard. This actually does not have the arcade. This is uh, going to be from the Great Mosque of Isfahan, uh, but there is a large courtyard there. Um, different kind of courtyard here, right? Not outdoors, actually. Um, well, actually, I think that one is outdoors. Anyway, courtyards, right? Uh, the really important idea you need to know is the Qibla. Qibla is a direction that's faced um, during prayer. That direction is towards Mecca. Why Mecca? Because that is where the Kaaba is. We'll go into the Kaaba a little bit later when we get into um, West, uh, Western Asia and Central Western Asian art. Um, but the Kaaba is uh, in Mecca is like the most important sacred spot. And so all prayer is directed in that uh, in that way um, or in that directions. Um, we refer to the Qibla wall in a mosque. The Qibla wall has on it the mihrab, which is the niche in the wall to indicate this is the this is the Qibla wall, this is the direction you are supposed to be orienting your body while you're in prayer. And so there's an example of a mihrab. So you can see it's just a little niche. Okay. Um, and in addition, there's another example of a mihrab, again a niche, that's also from the Great Mosque of Isfahan. Uh, this happens to be the, from the Great Mosque of Cordoba. Um, Okay. Uh, another term you'll need to be aware of is a minbar, uh, which is just a pulpit. So we see an example right there, a pulpit from which, uh, you know, uh, prayers are read, etc. The other really important term, other than, uh, in my estimation, other than Qibla and um, Qibla wall and Mirab is going to be the minaret, which is a tower. Um, mosques are known uh, for, uh, depending on where the mosque is located, uh, quite elaborate uh, minarets, quite elaborate towers. This is from Asia Sophia, the minarets, the towers. From those towers, the call to prayer is made. Uh, uh, five times a day, calling faithful to prayer. A couple of more examples of some minarets. Um, and then finally, a term that's really only reserved for certain kinds of mosques is a maksura. Um, and that's only in a mosque where a caliph, uh, who is a, who's a kind of, uh, is, a, is a ruler, is an Islamic ruler, where the caliph kind of makes his, his home mosque. Uh, and so it's a special area uh for for him um so it's not in every mosque it happens there happens to be one obvious well there happens to be one in the great mosque of cordoba which we'll hear about in just a moment um and that's what the next video you will get is about all right